my bubble is not moving I want it to move so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go select the object bubble and I'm going to create a behavior for that bubble so I'm going to click on behavior I'm going to click on the plus sign to add in behavior and I'm going to scroll down for movements and I'm going to select the bullet and click on add and I'm going to close this now let's run again and see what happens if you see the bubble is moving right we don't want it to move right we want it to move up now if you remember from our game maker lesson that up direction is 270 so I'm going to come to my bubble properties in here and I'm going to look at angle under common and I'm going to type in 270 and press enter now if I click run you'll see the bubble is moving up now you can set the speed of the bubble in here this is like uh, 400 right now it's going fast you could say 150 if you like or you could say 100 it's your choice if you think 150 is too slow you can do 200 We want to create some uh, behavior for the bubble and we want to give some animation to the bubble so that it looks like bubble is actually floating. So the first thing I'm going to do again is make sure the bubble is selected. I'm going to add another behavior and I'm going to click on the plus sign and again I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select the sign. I'm going to click add. Now sign just like the wave pattern it's showing, sign behavior is used to create an oscillating uh, animation for the object and I want to create a sine wave behavior. Close the box and if you look into the properties and behaviors here I'm going to see the sine behavior and the movement I'm going to select as width that is this and the period I'm going to select as 1 and magnitude 5 now let's click run and see what happens. I'm going to reduce the speed of the bullet to 100 so that you could actually see the action. I don't want the bubble to going too fast. If you see, the bubble is bouncing up and down while moving up. Now let's do the same thing for the uh, height as well. So I select the bubble and I'm going to go to behaviors. I'm going to add again the sign behavior and this time I'm going to select the movement as height and the period maybe 1.5 and magnitude I'm going to do negative 5 let me close this behavior window now let's click run and see the animation for the bubble if you see it looks like a realistic um, animation as if the bubble is floating up